He thought he was boarding the hype train when he bought the Rio Link camera, but it turned out he boarded the garbage truck instead. Yeah, so I'm not much for Prime Day, but you know, I I was told by you guys to get Rio Link and it was a good time to get it. So here it is. Look, I'm not asking for much, but this looks like it came from Prime Day because it looks like they gave me the box at the back of the warehouse. So this is the Argus 4K uh, and the solar panel that comes with it. I'm gonna try to set this up outside really quick. So I'm a little bit disappointed because uh, it, it didn't work. I was told that Real Link was pretty uh, good with integrating into Home Assistant. Like it's one of the best things that seamlessly integrates into Home Assistant. And this was not my experience. Did not work. What happened? Well, it turns out that all of the battery powered, let me not say all, I, I can't say all. I will talk about the one battery powered one that I have. I got the Real Link Argus 4 4K, which with the solar panel attachment, and it's classified as a battery wireless uh, camera and the thing is that this is an old house I don't have any sophisticated uh, cat cables going out so I have to go with the wireless option with the solar panel and when I got it and I tried to get it installed to the network that that uh, that should have gave me the first sign because me trying to access it through the internet just didn't work. It would not work I had to get the app I had to get some kind of client and it has a desktop client but the desktop client wouldn't work for me I had to use the mobile app and the mobile app connected after some trouble and once I got it onto the network I'm like fine maybe it just like there's cameras like that I've experienced cameras like that and once it got connected I can see its IP address I tried to ping it and it wouldn't and then it shows up in home assistant so I'm like it was probably just a fluke maybe it's just me my bad let me try again using home assistant because hey I see it within like the integration list click on it it asks for the password I put it in, failed. I thought I typed the password wrong. I tried again. I changed the password, logged out in the app, logged back in to make sure it was working, tried again in Home Assistant, still failed. Had to go dumpster diving through the forums and through all of the websites. Turns out that the battery versions don't have access to the ports. Like I can't change or enable any of the ports as what Home Assistant says within their help section, which means that I can't access it through Home Assistant. And when I dug just a tad bit deeper, it mentioned that, at least GPT mentioned, that I can only access access it if I use the hacks integration which is done via cloud and your boy didn't get this so he can go through the cloud he wanted something local you guys so I'm returning it I'm returning it